Hello, welcome back to my studio. In this video I'm talking a bit more about oil paint and more specifically white paint and we know how dependent we are on white paint in our daily painting. I've written a fairly detailed article about white paint on my blog and this video is going to be part of that article. You can find it on my website um, in my blog as well. Just look for white paint. And why this article? Why the issue with white paint? As I mentioned in the article, research has shown up um, issues relating to white paint. And more specifically, um, the ingredients that go into the white paint that we take for granted. And the ingredient that has come under the spotlight is zinc white. Uh, the ingredient uh, more specifically or technically is zinc oxide. And you'll see it perhaps marked on the side of your paint tube as PW4. According to um, research on zinc white over many years, it's been determined that uh, zinc oxide um, creates a very high risk in your paint cracking, even to the extent of layers of dry paint delaminating from other layers. So clearly and there's a real problem with zinc oxide in, in paint. Now, as you're probably aware, the old masters used lead white predominantly uh, and zinc white only really came into use in the mid 1800s and zinc white was very attractive because it was a brilliant color it also had translucency and uh, seemed to make uh, colors more vibrant and of course uh, zinc uh, oxide is not um, as toxic or not toxic at all um, but lead white with uh, lead carbonate was toxic so zinc white had these advantages. The problem though is, as research has discovered, that zinc white causes um, terrific problems with paint. Um, and obviously paintings where zinc oxide has been used extensively, there is a significant risk of that painting deteriorating or even being destroyed. Um, through the operation of that zinc oxide. So how does it really impact us today? Well, you still can buy zinc white paint. So that may be something to reconsider. But most people today are using titanium white. So no problem, right? The problem is just about all titanium white, at least in student quality, titanium white contains a percentage of zinc oxide. And you'll see on your tube of paint, your titanium white, you'll probably see PW6, which stands for titanium white, and PW4 being zinc white or zinc oxide. Ideally, there should be no zinc in your titanium white. In some of the better brands and artist quality brands, you'll also find zinc oxide being mixed in with titanium white. Uh, as you'll see in the article, there is some justifications for including zinc white mixed into titanium white. But on the balance, personally, I don't think zinc white needs to be in titanium white at all. But at least be aware of it and then make your own decisions. What I wanted to show you in this video a little in a little bit of a demonstration is uh, some paint being made by South African artist Joe Joubert. I have reviewed his paints and uh, interviewed him in a podcast which you can find on my website as well. Joe is making white paint without zinc oxide. He's also a big supporter of a traditional lead white paint and you can purchase lead white from him as well. As a third option, he is uh, producing a flake white alternative. Flake white is basically the same thing as lead white. An alternative to flake white, which 
contains um, no lead and no zinc oxide, but it has similar properties to lead white. So you've got three options you can get from Joe Beer: a pure titanium white, a pure flake white made according to traditional Dutch process, and then a flake white alternative which has no lead. So check out Joe Beer Artist Paints and uh, consider the benefits of using genuine artist quality paint made according to the old methods. Now there is um, justification for using the paints that the old masters used and um, the flake art alternative, perhaps a safer option for a lot of people, but uh, you can also use lead white taking some basic common sense precautions. I'm going to show you these um, different uh, paints and uh, then it's all about being informed. Make your own decisions and decide what's best for your painting as well. But anyway, let's take a closer look at uh, some of these white paints that uh, Joe Beer is making. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these paints. These are typical um, paints you'll find in most art shops, um, student quality paint, and you can see on the sides PW6 and PW4, that means titanium white and zinc white or zinc oxide going into the paint and it's described as uh, titanium white. At least you're aware that that will have zinc oxide in it. Um, another brand here that just says pigments PW6, PW4. The tubes described as titanium white but it's not pure titanium white, it has zinc oxide in it. Make sure that if you check the ingredients you get exactly what you're looking for. So these are the, you can see I've been using them, these are Joja Bear's handmade artist quality paints made in South Africa. So first of all here's um, titanium white and it's PW6 and uh, PW22. Um, these are white pigments that are being used. It contains no zinc oxide at all. The first thing I notice when taking off the cap each time is the, the nature of the, the paint. It is a thicker, stronger, I would say, consistency. And you may decide you need to add some um, medium to it if it's too thick for you. But this is simply an indication of what uh, paint is like without um, lots of uh, fillers and waxes mixed into it. So this is pure ingredient or pure pigment with linseed oil. And with the nature of titanium white, a uh, very strong opaque nature to the white paint, very strong um, tinting ability. Using a very strong uh, red color, but uh, tinted very easily with this strong titanium white. And of course, as I said, extremely opaque. So the moment you get some of that titanium white in, the transparency of the paint will be gone. So that's genuine titanium white. Now let's have a look at genuine flake white. All right, so this is the lead white in the old master tradition. Lead white, PW1, lead carbonate. And uh, I've put on my gloves that I normally use when painting, and that is obviously a precaution you'd want to take using lead white. So once again, a very thick and strong, highly concentrated 
point that uh, is being made by George Barron. And now immediately when working into this, I can feel the strength of the paint. Now, as you can see, as I lift it off like that, the paint holding its shape. Very different performance to your basic student quality paint. And something else you may notice, I'm not sure if it comes across in the video sufficiently, but a warmer, slightly warmer look to the paint compared to the titanium white, which is a bit cooler. So when I'm using lead white like this, I would probably add a little bit of medium to it, maybe just a little more, more linseed oil or liquid or one of those uh, mediums that you prefer. So let's get a little bit of that uh, scarlet lake that I'm using. And so a good strong tinting ability as well, but I think marginally the titanium white is a stronger opaque white than the lead white. Definitely a little more translucent perhaps and slightly warmer. Now here is the flake white alternative which doesn't contain um, any lead. It contains PW6 and titanium white uh, and PW. 7 P PW22. These are all white pigments. I can immediately say that this does feel different from the lead white, but the difference is, is quite slight. It also looks warmer as well than the straight titanium white. Okay, this is the titanium white. which I th think is slightly cooler. But these are all marginal differences. And the most important thing is that the white paint is able to do what you need. And that is tint your colors and adjust the value. And white paint will also adjust the temperature as well and cool down your colors. But as a tinting ability, a tinting strength and rendering your transparent paint like that straight out the tube into an opaque color. That is what we're looking for in a good white paint. Your traditional titanium white, the old master lead white, and then the flake white alternative that doesn't contain any lead, but it's got the uh, similar working qualities of genuine lead white. So I think Joja Berry is covering all the, the bases. And most importantly, no zinc oxide in any of these paints.